My name is Fahike Rubo. I'm a sexual reproductive health and rights youth advocate and a gender issues activist. I work with an organization called Positive Young Women Voices and what we do mainly is around sexual reproductive health and rights. I lead a team of LBQ women who are living in Dandora and mostly what we are doing is a response around HIV response when it comes to people living with HIV and affected by HIV. Other than that we have programming around having solutions that uh, to, to challenges that LBQ women are facing in Dandora. So one thing that stood out from the My Sister's Keeper is uh, self-discovery. One thing I know about LBQ women is there's a problem when it comes to self-acceptance, mainly because of how we've been socialized and what, what has been taught to us of being normal and what is not normal. So for me, I think self-discovery is something that uh, it's a take-home that I'll want all the LBQ women in my, in my constituency to always know that self-acceptance is the first thing to do in the leadership journey. Another thing that I've learned is on leadership and governance. Personally, I believe I'm a leader and I've learned that with leadership, I have to work on myself first and it's the same thing. It's a take home. I'm going to take it to my people to let them know that when it comes to leadership, you have to you know, work on yourself first, first as a person, discover who you are, then lead others. My take home today is about mentorship. So I didn't know this unconscious kind of mentorship and the one that is deliberate. So mostly we've been relying on what is unconscious, the things that we see around us and the, lead, the, the leaders that we look up to. But now the take home is being deliberate about the kind of mentorship I need as a leader. And for me, I've realized that I need mentorship on how to be a good leader. I'm ready to be my sister's keeper.